In this video, I want to talk about five reasons not to study math. Okay, so I know that sounds strange. Why not study math? I love math, but let's talk about five reasons why maybe you shouldn't. So the first reason that you should not study math is because it's hard work. And you know, life is hard. Most of us have a job we have to go to every day. We have responsibilities. And then you try to take classes on top of that. That's a lot of work. I know a lot of people that actually work and go to school. And let me tell you, just respect. Like, wow, that is incredible. When I was a student, I did not work and go to school. No, 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 no. I just took on a bunch of debt and then just went to college. I mean, that's the route I took. No regrets because I don't think I would have been able to be as successful as I was in college if I had to actually have a job. I mean, that's just so hard. It would have taken me longer. I would have had to like pare back on my classes. So that's, I think, a reason not to study math because it's so hard. I mean, it's just really, really hard to take you know, two math classes and go to work. And if you have a family, it's even harder. So on the bright side, hard work can be rewarding, right? When you, when you, when you take a class and you succeed, you feel good. When you figure out a math problem, you feel good. So even though it's a reason not to study math, at the same time, it kind of is a reason to also study math. The second reason that you maybe should not study math is time. This is also related to the first reason. I mean, there are only 24 hours in a day and we all have the same amount of time on this earth. How we spend each hour matters. If you have to go to work for eight hours a day and it takes you 30 minutes to get there and 30 minutes to come home, then you have to come home and you have to wash dishes and you have to cook your meals and then maybe you have a family and you wanna spend time with them and then you wanna take a class. So you have to drive to your class and then drive home or maybe it's an online class. It doesn't matter. It all takes time. Math takes time. Then you have to study. When are you gonna do that? Like It just sounds ridiculous. If you really think about all of the things that you have to do and how much time you have in a day, it will totally stress you out. So time, time is a reason not to study math. At the same time, math is rewarding, you know, and, and ask yourself, why are you doing it? You know, if you have a good reason to do it, then maybe you should make the time. So again, even though time is not a reason to study math, maybe it is. By studying math, you will reach a goal in your life, maybe get a degree, and you will change your life. So that's the second reason, time. The third reason not to study math, and this is, this is kind of dumb, but people will think you're smart. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I can tell you that I have been asked some ridiculous things, you know, from, from people I know. And if they're watching this video, it's okay. You know, no, 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 no offense, man. But like, people think that I know everything because I study math. Like, you know, hey, my internet's not working. Can you come over and help me out? Hey. You know, uh, can, my car is doing this thing, this thing's coming, do you know how to fix that? I know you're really good at math. No, I can't work on cars. I know nothing about cars. I'm terrible with my hands. Math is one of the few things that like, I'm decent at. So when you study math, people think you know, you're really, really smart. And you do get interesting reactions sometimes. You, know, you, you go on the street and the first thing that people always say to you when, when they meet you is, Hey, hey what, do you, what do you do? Oh, I teach math. You teach math? Oh, 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 oh. You know, I, I was never good at math. You get these crazy reactions. People think you're like some super nerd. You know, They think you know everything. So is that a negative? I don't know. It's something that you need to get used to though because when you study math, people were gonna think, people will think you can solve all of their problems. I mean, it really is, it really is an interesting experience. Another reason not to study math is because you're gonna end up with a ridiculous book collection. I mean, look at all of these books. This is ridiculous. By the way, these are not all of my books. I have books everywhere. There's a bookshelf over there, you, you can't see it, and there's one over there, you can't see it either. I have so many bookshelves. Where I live, I am surrounded by math books and I'm always reorganizing them all the time because I'm, I'm reading, I'm putting them away. I'm like, oh, should I put all my abstract algebra books here? Should I put my advanced calculus books in one spot? It's just a huge mess. I cannot get organized. But you are gonna end up with a ridiculous book collection. And that's a reason I think not to study math, but at the same time, it's a reason to study math if, if you like math books. They take up space. I've had to take down pictures and stuff because there's no more room for pictures because the books, have overtaken the family pictures. Now I put the family pictures you know, on the walls because there's just no room anymore, right? The math books have completely consumed my life and they will consume yours if you study math. 
Another reason not to study math is that you're gonna end up with a significant other that is a little bit nerdy. This, this may be good and this may be bad, it just depends. I mean, people who study math you know, they're stereotypes for a reason. You know, stereotypes exist because most of the time there's a lot of people who do that. For example, you know, they say people who study math wear glasses. I actually don't wear glasses and I have really good vision, so that's a bad example. Um, they say people who, who study math are nerdy. Maybe I'm a little bit nerdy. I love video games. Right? I grew up with video games. I am not athletic at all. I mean, I, I try to work out, but I'm weak. I mean, I just, I am a typical nerd. And so that is something that is likely to happen to you if you study math. People attract people like them, so you're likely to end up with someone who's actually quite nerdy, which might be a good thing. So that's, is that a reason not to study math? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should have given this video a, a, a different title. In any case, those are five reasons not to study math. But you can say there are reasons to study math depending on what you want out of life. So, so let's recap. Math is going to take hard work. It's going to take time. People will think you are a nerd and they will ask you to fix everything in their lives. You'll end up with a ridiculous book collection and your significant other is probably going to be just like you, which may or may not be a good thing, right? So just, you know, keep your options open. I mean, that's a lot of math books. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck and take care.